All right, guys, so many of you have been asking me when the next campaign playthrough is going to be. I usually do live stream campaigns, but I decided why not do a new series of videos where each video is an individual campaign. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start this new series. Today, we're going to start off with Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD doing the Byzantine campaign to reconquer lands that are lost, both in Anatolia and in the Balkans. It's going to be a super fun time it's going to be the first campaign in this series of new content so i really hope you enjoy it let's get right into it All right, so we're going to start off the campaign by obviously attacking the Latin Empire to our west, who've, uh, at this point, you know, the Byzantine Empire is basically split into three or four. There's the Empire of Trebizond, the Latin Empire, and the Nicaeans here. We're playing the Nicaeans, and we're going to build up our economy to begin with, kind of focus on our family, marrying off some of our brothers and sons of Theodoros, and we're going to go on the assault against the Latin Empire. Peace. They want Honesty some peace, but we're not going to give it to them, are we? They're going to attack us in classic AI style as well from the sea. I don't know why MK1212 does this, but often, especially when you're playing as Nicaea, you get these assaults, naval assaults on cities that are really easy to auto-resolve. These starting uh, troops can be replenished and replaced pretty easily as well. So it's much better off, in my opinion, to instead of playing the defensive battle over and over again, just to auto-resolve them and focus on really large, fun battles as well. So as I said, we're going to marry off some of our brothers, Manuel and Alexios, the heir to various wives that are high in personal influence and other skills and traits as well. Here comes the Latin Empire again on an assault on Nicaea, but we're going to repel them easily, hopefully in another heroic victory here. Nope, decisive. Okay, not bad. But with that, they should be pretty bloodied and bruised. After a few battles, their main armies defeated, retreating back. We've defeated, obviously killed some of their major generals. We've had an army, the Swords of Justice, recruiting some nice troops here as well in Doralion, I think. So we're going to focus on Constantinople, building up some siege equipment. Theodoros has been replenishing in the meantime. We're going to bring him up in support as well. No mercenaries for us to recruit, but with siege equipment built, and I think I'm going to move the army over in Nicaea up as well to help with the assault, we are going to begin the siege on Constantinople. All right, with that, we should be able to take the city pretty easily. The Latin Empire defeated at Constantinople, and we have regained our crown jewel, Theodoros, the emperor, leading the armies of true Byzantium, reconquering our proper capital of the empire. I'm gonna give him some skills, maybe focus on the civil side of things with some bureaucratic skills. Uh, try and get into that final skill there to uh, get basically a bonus in everything. Authority, cunning, zeal. And of course, now with Constantinople in our hands, we can reform the Byzantine Empire. The restoration of the empire has begun. Our first steps taken to take back lands lost over the last hundred years. But in the meantime... Venice will attack Rhodes with a cheeky little army by the Doge himself, no less. Two-star general versus our two-star garrison army. I think we can take them on. Very cheeky of them, though. They have some nice troops there. But we should be able to auto-resolve. It is a naval assault. Usually naval assaults are quite one-sided. 
even in manual battles, it's very easy to defend against a naval assault. Rhodes is secure. We're going to invest some money into building up our main settlement, settlement buildings, our castles, our primary town buildings here. Swords of Christ with the Just Conquerors ex exchanging some units, some recently recruited Scutatoi. And we're going to try and assault Sisychus next, taking the Latin Empire's last stronghold in Anatolia. Out of movement points, and the Latin Empire will actually meet us in open land battle. We're going to retreat. We don't want to fight both that army and a garrison army. And it looks like their final army is going to go for another naval assault against us again. Unsuccessfully, of course, because we have a variety, a number of well-equipped and well-trained armies defending the city. Only 276 men lost. The Latin Empire in full retreat. But the Venetians, man, they were annoying. They're going to come again and this time attack Smyrna or the modern city of Izmir. I think it's Izmir. I might be wrong there. Maybe it's Bodrum, actually. They're going to attack the city. Nothing I can uh, defend against, unfortunately. Outnumbered three to one. They're going to attack and successfully loot the city. They won't take it this time. We're going to attack Sisychus next. Garrison forces at Sisychus successfully defeated. Now our final bastion in Anatolia has been taken. We're going to occupy the city and focus our efforts towards the Balkans and the Seljuks, of course, who are ripe for some taking. They're currently under siege by what looks like a Seljuk rebel army, which is good for us. So they're in a bit of a disarray, a bit of a civil war going on amongst the Turkic tribes there. Venice again with another assault that we're probably going to be able to repel uh, with a Pyrrhic victory. All right, so we are attacking a final Latin army in the Battle of Philippopolis. Nice cinematic footage there showing you what kind of a battle it was. It was bloody, but a decisive victory for us. Bloody for the Latin Empire. They will retreat there while our second army, led by Theodoros, assaults Philippopolis itself. The Bulgarians decided it might be a good time to atta attack Assault Thessalonica, but we're not happy with that, really. Uh, so we're going to move up Theodoros to attack Thessalonica, declaring war on them pretty quickly. Hopefully, with Bulgaria's support, we can take the city with little resistance. And my bad, it's Georgios who will attack Philippopolis. With our siege equipment built, we can assault the city. I love the cinematics. Beautiful, beautiful units in MK1212. And with that, we will take Philippopolis for Byzantium, for Roma Invicta. We're going to occupy the city, probably here. Yep, I do occupy. And then with that, we'll, we'll, we're going to focus our attention on Thessalonica. They've got armies that are pretty well equipped, built up. A decent mix of cavalry, heavy infantry, crossbowmen. And 
the enemy has been repelled with a heroic victory under Theodoros' leadership, the Emperor now squaring, squaring, now setting his eyes on the city of Thessalonica to try and reconquer a major settlement in the Balkans. Meanwhile, the Latin army we defeated had come back for an assault, but we've repelled them successfully, destroying the entire army. Over a thousand men lost, but we'll be able to replenish the troops pretty quickly with Philippopolis under our hands. And now Thessalonica besieged as well, backed up by Bulgarian armies, over 7,000 men engaging the city and taking it without much resistance. We hunger for battle. And here we are. Pretty good progress so far. Sent the Latin Empire into its grave. We've got Epirus to our west, Achaea to our south, still to take in the Balkans. And of course, Trebizond and the Seljuk Empire to our east. So we're gonna begin by raising some forces, recruiting some armies in Constantinople and Anatolia once more, getting some Scutatoi spearmen, swordsmen, some cavalry, and of course, some archers and peltasts to support us as well. We do have an army mustered already in Doralion, and it looks like Trebizond has been trying to get some incursions into our territory as well, so we're going to try and beat them back. Venetians with a large army, just under 2,000 men assaulting Rhodes again, but interestingly, a Venetian rebel army was supporting us this time. We've beaten them back, and that gives us some breathing room for us to attack an incursion by Trebizond. The inheritors of power in our land will not be successful. We push them back, back to their territory. Two major armies keeping our eastern borders secure. Venice coming back again, a naval assault. You'd think the Venetians would be a little more successful with some better equipped technologically advanced ships, but no, they will be heroically defeated again this day. Our armies ready for assault against Sinop. The Trebizond armies have re returned back to their lands for consolidation. At the moment, it looks like a 2v2, of course, with the garrison army in Sinop. But let's see what happens. It looks like the Celtics are under assault by another rebel army in Ankara as well. But we'll begin by besieging the city. Looks like one of their armies have been um, heavily damaged as well. Oh, they have a third army they've brought up in defense of Sinop. And this is going to be a good one. A major battle here. Over 6,000 men on the Trebizond side versus our 4,000. Let's fight this on the ground. With that, the enemy is defeated. Three armies pretty much destroyed. The garrison at Sinop heavily damaged as well. We should have a pretty easy time here to push Trebizond back and take the city for ourselves. Ready for battle. Victorious day here. We will begin the assault on the city, auto resolving it. Enemy only have, I think, a few hundred troops defending. Yeah, only 81 men lost. We're going to occupy the city and then potentially start focusing our attention on the Selchuks to our south. Kai Sid is still for the taking. Looks like rebels have taken Famagusta, though, which might mean that the Kingdom of Jerusalem has been defeated by the Ayyubids. Trebizond coming back for a final 
a desperate attack on Sinop to take their lands back. Just over 1,700 men defending. But it will not be successful against our superior training, experience, and skill. They'll be sent back to the sea. Take on the warriors to do a little replenishment for now. But we might go for Trebizond itself next to the east. And of course, Ankara is just on our doorstep. Seltric armies defeated by their rebels, by Cilician Armenians to our south as well. We're going to recruit some trebuchets, which would be super fun. Get those into our armies. Or we don't have to rely on siege equipment there. Got another army mustering in Sisychus. Our economy going strong at 12,000 per turn. And Theodorus, of course, at Thessalonica, doing a bit of recruitment as well. Getting ready for the assault on Epirus and Mistress. All right, we've got some trade actually going with the Sultanate of Rum, but Welcome, it won't matter Welcome. now. We were going to end it, but I decided not to. We're going to just assault Ankara anyway. Take that diplomatic penalty. Whatever. It's fine. It's all worth a little bit more land and money and our old territory back into our hands as well. The Selchuks. No time to waste. We want to attack them straight away and take the city of Ankara first before moving further south. At your command. We hunger with Ankara ours. Unfortunately, untimely, but Theodoros has passed away to natural causes. His heir, Alexios, will take the reins of the Empire. And we will begin our assault on Kaiseri next. A final bastion of Trebizond forces in central Anatolia. A large city worth taking, especially for its economic value as well. Both armies in Ankara will move up to assault the city, minimizing casualties. An easy assault to take the city. Only 400 men lost. The entire garrison destroyed. Looks like Armenians are assaulting the city just south of us, Econion. Let's see if we can take that city before they do. Trebizond, in the meanwhile, is kind of ripe for the taking. Not sure if they have any forces there, if they've been able to muster any armies. We're going to send a spy up just to see if there's anything at our border. Just to uh, suss out the situation there before potentially attacking, or maybe even diplomatically trying to make them a vassal. Stop that could be cool. Trebizond offers some peace, which... Let's see if we can vassalize them or make them a puppet state. Will they take the offer? No, likelihood of success low. So, of course, that means we're going to assault the city. Trebizond is ours. A decisive victory against the enemy. A successful siege, especially with trebuchets. And that final city of the Empire of Trebizond is now taken away from them. Bulgaria decides to attack Georgia, our new neighbors, now that we've taken the region of Pontus. So we're going to have to have a defensive presence here in Trebizond as well. We've taken Kaiseri. We've taken Iconian as well from the Selchuks. So the Selchuks have been destroyed. 
But we do have some rebellions to deal with as well. We've got an army in Ankara. They will take on a small so-called Ottoman rebel army that has sprung up out of nowhere. I don't think so. I don't think so. Ottomans, Ghazis, whoever you are. Now is not your time. Byzantium will be victorious here. The army defeated. Turkic rebels are no match for Roman might. Advance! Commander. With that, we'll send the walkers on the way, probably back to Ankara, not to Doralion. Get some recruitment, some replenishment going. The army at Kaiseri will will attack this. I think it's a Danishman's rebel army, which is interesting. A little bit early for them as well. We're going to take them out swiftly in an auto-resolve battle here. Make haste, men. Our income now at 17,000 per turn, over 600 food. Economically, the empire is thriving. And we can continue to focus our troops on recruitment, replenishment, and now even expanding back out in the west on the Balkans as well. Gonna do a bit of recruitment here with some Scoots toy spearmen, but I think our population is running low. So maybe not for very long. Our general here at Thessalonica, Manuel, with a full army, is ready to strike at Dyrrhachium, held currently by Epirus. They have an army just outside the city, so we will assault them first, forcing their garrison out for a land battle here. With that challenging land battle done and dusted, Epirus has lost its main armies, the garrison has been bloodied, and we can take the city pretty quickly. Gotta build up some siege equipment first, but it should fall within a turn. We're gonna give some skills to our new general here, Manuel, high in authority. Lots of investment there. Our income Obedience continues to climb as we conquer new land. territory here. Venice with a peace offer, but we're going to deny them there. In the meantime, Bulgaria and it looks like Hungary have a few armies coming down to our lands. Bulgaria under assault by Kiev as well now, which we're going to support them with there. Trebizond with no a peace offer, which, hostility. again, we'll, we'll see if they want to maybe become peace. our vassal. That, that could be a good way to do that, but no, they're not going to go for it this time. Maybe in the future. Dryakium is ready to fall, so we will assault the city, auto-resolve it, destroying the garrison, securing another major settlement in the Balkans on the west coast, just ready across from Italy, mind you. Gonna build up our buildings here. Maybe getting rid of some of them to make make way for other potential buildings. Definitely gonna get that engineering workshop though for some trebuchet action in Dryachium. We have Mistress left in the south here in Greece. That is our next target with an army I've just built up in Smyrna. Uh, so we're gonna try and cross the Aegean here and assault the city within the next maybe two turns. They do have an army being recruited there, so we're going to have to be a little careful, see how we do there. But a major army on the assault, the inheritors of power with scutatory spearmen, swordsmen, cavalry, proanoi, lots of really, really nice troops here. Returning to land. So here we go, army ready to cross the Aegean here. Looks like an Armenian army in the Aegean as well, for some reason. Oh, you know, AI being the AI. I'm gonna just go double time to be able to get on land, not suffer any more seasickness than we need to. And then hopefully within the next turn, they won't be able to recruit too many more troops. And we can assault the garrison and that army there. 
I've mustered another army over in Atelia as well. This one's going to go for Candia, the last stronghold Venice owns in Crete, which would be good to own. Have a defensive major settlement in the Aegean. And it's a major, I mean, it's a major economic powerhouse there in Candia, so we want that as well. And our army here in Mistress can now attack this city, the army, for a decisive, hopefully interesting land battle here as well. Let's get this one started. Alright, with that, that army has been defeated. Not completely, though. They still have some troops left remaining for a potential revenge battle later on. But our army is doing pretty good. We've only taken a few casualties, some cavalry losses, some Scutatoy spearmen. And uh, we can now assault the city, building up some siege equipment, getting ready for that siege on Mistress to take the final settlement in Greece. And Venice, in the meantime, have brought over two major armies. And look forward to Though they want peace, it's all veiled threats with three armies. Over 7,000 men assaulting Dryachium now, which should be interesting. So let's defend the city against the Venetians here. With a successful defense of Dryachium, the Venetians majorly defeated. Over a thousand men lost on our side, but four thousand men on the Venetian side of the battle lost to the high walls of Dryachium. Towers, archers, superior skilled and experienced spearmen, swordsmen, they had no chance. Trebizond with another peace treaty. This wars. time, we might see if they might take a payment. Or they might give us a payment. Now, we'll, we'll see if they, if they become a vassal next time in the next peace offer. Candia is now within sight of our army, the Swords of Christ. Forming a blockade. Trebuchet is at the ready. They have a decent higher tiered garrison here that we might just build a few pieces of equipment for just to even up the odds a little None bit auto resolve wise or assault the city with our trebuchets as well mistress is ready for the taking though with some siege equipment we might want to assault the city now with this one or we might wait for another we turn just to get those final pieces of equipment built up but that city should fall pretty soon as well Right, with the next turn, Candia, siege equipment ready. Do we want to assault the city? I think we do. But let's get this started. Ah, uh, you gotta love trebuchets, and with that, Candia falls, and Venice's final stronghold in the Aegean, after a hundred years of ownership, Ready has ended. Orders. Venice beaten back, bloody, Candia lost, armies destroyed, yeah, they will make no. peace soon as well, I'm sure. But in the meantime, Mistress is ready for the assault. 
small garrison here defending just under a thousand men. Do we want to make peace with Venice first? Let's see if they want to get peace. Engaging diplomatically Welcome, with the I Republic. Suppose. They do want no, a peace treaty. Their sit. army's destroyed. That they can't the even defend and themselves. The and they will pay us you some reparations as stand. well for assaulting Dryachium in the first place. How dare they? The might of Rome has stopped them. And even the rich Venetians cannot stand against us. Hear us, Lord. The inheritors of power will assault the city now. Mistress will fall. And with that, the final city in the Balkans, in Greece with Mistress, has been taken back into Byzantium. Old Roman lands reconquered for the glory of Rome. And we've done well. Income high at 23,000. We'll build up our buildings. We've done an incredible job to reconquer our lands and reform the Byzantine Empire. Seltrics have been defeated. Thessalonica, Epirus, Achaea, Trebizond, all of these have been destroyed. Of course, the Latin Empire as well, our sworn enemies. And we've managed to unite all of these former lands back under a Byzantine banner. It is a glorious day. Victory has been achieved here. Finally, after hundreds of years of enemy occupation, we have destroyed our enemies. Bulgaria to our north, our defensive allies. Georgia to our east, potentially an enemy there we need to be worried about. But this, with Constantinople especially in our hands, is the end of our campaign. Victory achieved here. And that's it for today, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. This has been the first campaign video of this series, a full campaign objectively here. We wanted to reconquer our old Byzantine lands and we've done it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, drop any thoughts or questions in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, any feedback as well. Thank you for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more just like this, and I will see you next time.